Diana, there you go. <coughs> Diana. Good afternoon, Excellencies, distinguished delegates. Before we proceed with agenda item seven, I would like to invite the Secretary to provide some housekeeping announcements, please. Distinguished delegates, good afternoon, and welcome to the last day of the third session of the Committee on Macroeconomic Policy, Poverty Reduction, and Financing for Development. The Secretariat wishes to remind delegations to please take a few minutes at the end of the committee session to complete the online evaluation questionnaire which was emailed to all the delegations. It is also available on the website of the committee and the chat box. We kindly ask that each delegation complete a questionnaire. The results will be used to improve future sessions of the committee. Thank you for taking the time to provide us with your feedback. We will be getting underway shortly for the agenda item number seven. May I provide some quick reminders for the delegates, participants, joining us via the e-conferencing KUDO platform. To select the UN preferred language, the language selector with the drop-down menu is available on the lower left of your screen. When you want to make intervention, kindly click Request to Speak button. When the chair calls upon you to take the floor, the microphone and camera icons will turn into red. Please click and mute the microphone and turn on the video and deliver your intervention. Do not click Done Speaking until you have completed your intervention, as this will cancel your request. Once you have completed your intervention, kindly click Done Speaking. For technical issues related to KUDO, kindly click Technical Support tab under the messaging icon and type your message there. Our technician will assist you shortly. The Secretariat will be monitoring the messaging in KUDO. However, the Secretariat kindly requests that all substantive questions or intervention to be raised through your delegation by using the request to speak button only. And finally, to prevent echoes and interference, Please stay on the original audio when you speak and ensure all other devices connected to KUDO in the same room are turned off. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you very much for your information and um, excellencies, distinguished delegates, the meeting is called to order. Uh, we shall now take up agenda item seven, adoption of the report of the committee on the, its third section. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, our productive deliberation in the past two days have refreshed our action-oriented thinking on the work of this committee for strengthening sustainable development in the Asia-Pacific region. Many new and innovative ideas has emerged from our uh, discussion. The report before you has taken stock uh, of the deliberation and documented the matter calling for action given by the distinguished participant. After your approval, the recommendation and decision uh, contains in this report will be submitted to the commission uh, at the 78th session uh, to be held in Bangkok in May 2022. I would like to recognize the preparation work of the Secretariat to put this document together within such a short time. May I now propose that we review and adopt the report section by section. 
I have been informed by Secretariat that minor editorial corrections, such as spelling mistake, will be taken care of by the Secretariat uh, in the final version. In light of this and in the interest of time, delegates are strongly urged not to bring uh, grammatical and minor typographical errors that uh, do not affect the meaning of the text to the attention of the meeting. I also wish to request delegates wishing to take uh, minor changes to the text to read them out at the dict dictation speed. With respect to major changes, delegates are requested to provide written text to the Secretariat in the chat box through uh, liaison uh, officer or email to escap mpdd at un.org. In order that the revision may be uh, uh, circulated to other delegates. The floor will be open for comments. Any correction uh, become necessary. Now I would like to move to the uh, to the uh, draft report, and uh, I would like to start from the uh, draft report uh, number one: matter calling for action by the commission or brought to its attention. A, it's matter calling for action by the commission, and B, matter brought to the attention of the commission. Any comment on session one? Recommendation one? I see uh, no comments. Session one is adopted by the participant. Now we move to the uh, session two, organization. A, opening, duration, and organization of the session. B, attendance. C, election of officer. D, agenda. And E, other event. Any comments on section two? Recommendation two? I see is I see no comments. Section two is adopted by the participant. Okay. I wish to propose that the draft report be adopted with additional changes to be taken care by of secretariat. If you all in, in agreement in this point. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, as I do not see any views to the uh, contrary, I wish to declare that this draft adopted by consensus and accommodation. I would like to thank all of you for the spirit of cooperation and goodwill that made this session a success. My special thanks to also go to the chairs of all the session for the support and contribution to the preparation of draft report. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, before I close the third session of the Committee of Microeconomic Policy, Poverty Reduction and Financing for the Development, it is now my honor to invite Mr. Hamza Ali Malik, Director of Macroeconomic Policy and Financing for Development Division, to deliver closing remarks. Please. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Chair, Vice Chairs, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, good afternoon from Bangkok. I would like to thank you all for your very active engagement, thought-provoking interventions, and constructive feedback to the background documents that we have prepared over the last three years, uh, the last three days. The discussion has provided us with a clear and focused agenda for our work on macroeconomic policy, poverty reduction, and financing for development 
for the coming years. And we thank you all for making the committee session a success. As noted by the committee, we are experiencing an unprecedented time in our region, facing a health, economic, and environmental crisis. However, as underscored by our executive secretary, Ibu Amida, in her opening remarks on day one, the region has indeed remained resilient, and we remain optimistic that the future is bright for the Asia-Pacific region. As this committee session concludes, I believe we all have much to look forward to. The deliberations highlighted a wide range of fiscal, monetary, and financial measures that Asia-Pacific policymakers have undertaken to avoid widespread job losses and deep economic recessions. At the same time, the deliberations rightly emphasized that securing a strong economic rebound should not be the only priority. It is now an opportune time for us to reorient an unprecedented scale of economic stimulus towards a more resilient, inclusive, and sustainable future. The deliberations provided insights on how this is being accomplished in some countries, with lessons learned from others. The committee also provided guidance on how ESCAP can deliver technical assistance that can help member states to build forward better together. The deliberations also focused on the importance and role of innovative and green financing mechanisms and highlighted the important role of digital finance to support poverty reduction, economic recovery, and the sustainable development goals. We look forward to fulfilling the committee's requests and will continue to undertake analysis and facilitate the sharing of best practices and lessons learned to broaden fiscal space and leverage innovative green and digital financing solutions to support member states to achieve the sustainable development goals and commitments towards the Paris Agreement. Furthermore, to advance and achieve the sustainable development goals, the committee's decision to establish a consultative group on financing strategies for the sustainable development goals will further this effort by providing a mechanism for more frequent, in-depth, and technical communication with experts from member states. Finally, I would like to provide my most sincere thanks to the committee chair, His Excellency Mr. Rahmat Budiman, and the committee vice chairs, Her Excellency Ms. Roshan Yesputulova, His Excellency Mr. Ganesh Prasad Thakal, and His Excellency Mr. Viara Kim for their support and effective leadership in steering the deliberations of this committee. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to His Excellency Mr. Mark Brown, the Prime Minister of Cook Islands, all the finance ministers and central bank governors, along with their delegations from here in Bangkok and from the capital for their very insightful statements and engagement throughout the three days of this committee session. I thank you very much. I wish to thank Mr. Malik for his thoughtful remarks, and uh, I would like now like to give my own conclusion statement. Dis Excellencies, distinguished delegates, we have concluded the third session of the committee in the spirit of goodwill and mutual cooperation. With that, I bid you all farewell and stay safe and healthy. And hereby, I declare the third session of Committee of, on Microeconomic Policy, Poverty Reduction, and Financing for Development closed. Thank you very much. <laughs>